Hi there, welcome to Sir Matego channel. Today I am going to discuss the Pythagorean theorem. It is given by c squared is equal to a squared positive b squared. This formula was introduced by the mathematician Pythagoras. According to him, in a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs. Now in the figure above, the legs of the right triangle are A and B, while the hypotenuse is C. So, according to the statement, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. This formula can be used to solve the unknown side of the right triangle. For example, if the first leg is 3, the second leg is 4, what is the length of the hypotenuse? In the figure, A is 3, B is 4, and we are going to find C. We use the formula C squared equals to A squared plus B squared. And we substitute A by 3, B by 4. So we now have C squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared. The product of 3 squared is 9 and the product of 4 squared is 16. So we have now 9 plus 16 is 25. So C squared is equal to 25. And we have C is equal to square root of 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. Our hypotenuse, which is C, is equal to 5. Aside from the hypotenuse, what if any of the legs is unknown? We can find it using the same formula. Look at this. We have A is unknown, B is 12, and C is 13. We are going to find A. We will use the same formula. C squared equals to A squared plus B squared. And since A is unknown, we can have A squared is equal to C squared negative B squared. And substituting the values of B and C, we have A squared is equal to 13 squared minus 12 squared. And 13 squared is 169 while 12 squared is 144. We subtract 169 by 144 and the answer is 25. So A squared is equal to 25. Then we have A is equal to the square root of 25 and that is 5. So finally A is equal to 5. We already had examples finding the unknown A and C. If B is unknown, we can also solve B using the same formula. Let's say A is 5 and C is 13. What is the value for B? Our formula is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Since B is unknown, we can have B squared is equal to C squared negative A squared. We just transpose A squared to the other side. So it becomes negative. Now we substitute the values of A and C respectively to the equation. So we have B squared is equal to 13 squared minus 5 squared. 13 squared is 169 while 5 squared is 25. So we subtract 169 by 25 and that is 144. We have B squared is equal to 144 and b is equal to the square root of 144 the square root of 144 is equal to 12 so b is equal to 12 now let's review how to solve any side of the right triangle using the pythagorean theorem it says that in a right triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs that is, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. If the hypotenuse is unknown, we can have this. c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. If leg a is unknown, we can have this formula. a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. If leg b is unknown, we can have this formula. 
b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared. You can try this. The legs of the right triangle are 6 and 8 respectively. Find the hypotenuse. If you have time, you can compute the value. And I hope you can get the same as mine, which is 10. Thank you so much. Please subscribe for more.